We start this one off with a bobcat leaping over a pond. It's an incredible capture. It's as if it's flying across the pond. Maybe bobcats do fly. And how about this strange animal, which is actually a black panther. It doesn't look like it at first, but upon closer inspection, that's what it is. But the same can't be said for this creature, which at first glance might look like a black bear, but it's not. I mean, at least that's not what I think it is. It's something else. It almost has an apish or monkeyish look to it. A muscular build, but not a bear. The picture looks like it was taken in Florida, so it might be one of the native monkeys that live out in the Florida wilderness. I'll leave that up to you to decide. But here's one heck of a capture of a dark furred creature on all fours, crawling around on the ground. But it has an elbow, a very obvious elbow, something you wouldn't see in a bear. Now bears do have elbows, but most of the time they're obscured by hair and fur. But this was taken in Virginia, so perhaps it is just a black bear. It's just not a common sight, something you wouldn't normally see, but maybe it's emaciated or has mange. A popular theory, however, is that it's actually a ground sloth, also known as a mylodon. Now these ground sloths are extinct. They're prehistoric animals that don't exist in today's times. But some viewers say that's what this is, a ground sloth, an ancient animal. Is it still around today and this might be proof? I don't know. I'll leave it up to you. These next captures come from a very interesting incident that happened in the great state of Vermont particularly in the town of Hubberton, a small rural town in western Vermont. A man living in Hubberton noticed that his backyard apple tree was being picked over rather quickly. Many of the apples were just disappearing. So he set up a trail camera to see what animals were eating the apples. On the first night, he captured this trail camera picture of a coyote eating some of the apples that were laying on the ground. This seemed to be an ordinary picture until a few minutes later when the coyote was visibly scared with its tail tucked between its legs and its guard hairs up. Something had disturbed the coyote. Two nights later, this mysterious image of a large humanoid creature was captured. No one can explain what it is. It seems to have huge patches of hair missing from its back. It's in a posture as if it just jumped out of a tree and is landing on the ground with its fist pushed up against the dirt. The Hubberton man which captured this trail camera picture does not believe this is a black bear or some kind of explainable animal. He believes that this is 100% a true humanoid unknown creature. At first the picture is hard to interpret, but this comparison shows us the posture in which the creature was believed to be in and the relative size compared to a human. It's a rough estimation of just how large this creature might have been. Obviously, there is room for error, but what we can see here is that this is not just some small animal. This is something massive. So what do you think this Vermont trail camera captured on the night of September 2nd, 2010? Let me know your theories down in the comments section below. I'd love to hear them. And with that being said, let's move on. This here is a night vision camera, and as many of you probably know, they are very helpful in revealing things in the dark that the human eye can't quite see. With that being said, this picture right here was taken on a similar camera and reveals a tall, lanky, apish-like figure. It's walking through some tall weeds, but its arms appear to stretch all the way down to its knees. Its abnormal body proportions rule out any chance of it being a human. This is obviously inhuman, but it also doesn't look like any native monkey or ape anywhere in the world. So what do you think? And it wouldn't be a video of mine if we didn't check out images like this. This is supposedly a trail camera image, but it is a composite of many animals all in the same place. This didn't really happen, because if it did, it would be straight out of a Disney movie. And if you didn't know any better, you would probably look at this and think the coyote is walking on its back legs. But it's just jumping, and the picture captured this angle at just the right time. And check out this black bear on a tree stump eating something, but the way that it's sitting makes it look like it's meditating or doing some kind of ninja pose, as if it's about to do a backflip off the tree stump. It's a very interesting and funny picture. Here's an infrared image of a man who was trespassing on private property. However, no one knows what his intentions were, and he's just staring at the camera as if he knows it's there. 
It's dark out though, so it brings up the question of how he knows the trail camera is there. Perhaps he had scoped the area out the day prior. Either way, this man's intentions have never been figured out and no one knows where he is. He's never been seen on a trail camera again. But the police were looking for him so that they could interrogate him about his presence on this private property. And I have to admit, it would be rather creepy to have a random person on your camera. But this man here is not just anyone. This man is a missing person who was missing for many, many days and weeks. Now, it's not currently known whether he was ever found, but let's just hope so. However, we don't have to hope with this next one because this missing man here is named Chuck Egner. Now, Chuck Egner was eventually found and there is a happy ending to this story. However, let me walk you through it. He was from Central Florida and he was on a deer hunting trip to Central Illinois with his sons when he unexpectedly wandered off and found himself lost on someone's property. Luckily, a game camera was triggered and the man who owned the game camera identified it as Chuck Egner walking in front of it, triggering it. He promptly contacted authorities and told them where Egner was and when they showed up, he was eating acorns on a tree stump and highly dehydrated. Again, he had not eaten in 66 hours, so he was dazed and confused. But luckily he was found and was safe, and he made a full recovery. Now check out this ultra rare, bizarre trail camera glitch of the imprint of a deer being left on the image well after the deer was actually there. It appears orange and blue, and this isn't the only instance of the glitch. I mean, look at this, a doe, the imprint of a doe being left behind. It's absolutely the most abnormal thing that I've covered on this channel. I mean, you don't see glitches like this very often. And no, it's probably not anything paranormal or some kind of apparition. But either way, it's very captivating. This person unexpectedly captured not one, not two, but three mountain lions walking by. A puma family, as they called it. Now it's one thing to capture one mountain lion, but to capture three is something else. Oh, but wait, there's a fourth one. And just a few hours later, this black bear was following the scent track of the Puma family. It's interesting to see how nature plays out like this sometimes. And finally, this trail camera image, which was particularly undercover and with very little recognition, depicting a quadpedal dark-haired creature. It appears to be a zoomed in and sharpened copy of the original picture, but that doesn't stop it from being one of the more clear that I've seen. But what is it? Here's an upscaled version, but it doesn't really give us enough detail to determine. I'll just say Black Bear. With that being said, thank you for watching, and if you want to send trail camera captures in of your own, contact us at encountering.bigfoot11 at gmail.com.